Hello students, welcome to my channel, Sarin Maitri, your educational mentor. I hope you all are doing very well in this pandemic situation and I believe that you are following my lectures and even my channel, all the lectures which are being posted are regarding the physics and electronics topics. So kindly visit my channel and look into the particular channel. Very interesting topics on physics and electronics are being published every day in order to make the knowledge of physics to be transferred to the students without getting any disturbance through their, to their education during this pandemic situation. I hope throughout the entire world, the schools have been shut down and students might be facing much difficulty in learning the new topics. Especially in India, the schools have been shut down for the past 9 to 10 months and students are really on hunger to learn these topics. So I am here to teach you new topics on physics without making you feel that you are off the school. Kindly look into my channel every day for new videos. So now, today we will be studying a new topic on thermal expansion and how we have seen that in the previous videos how the thermal expansion happens and what are the three different types of thermal expansion. All the three different types of thermal expansion like linear expansion, superficial expansion and cubical expansion are being mentioned mentioned in the description box. You can go and find the links of this thermal expansion, superficial expansion and volume expansion in the description box. Now, the video for this lecture will be on relationship between alpha, beta and gamma. We know that alpha is a coefficient of linear expansion and beta is a coefficient of superficial expansion and gamma is a coefficient of volume expansion. So today we will try to derive a relationship between alpha, beta and gamma. We will see that how these three different coefficients are being related. For that one, for that one, let me consider one Q. Let me consider one Q. Let me consider one particular Q. One particular Q which has got a volume of B naught volume of V0 at temperature T1. It means that the initial volume of this particular Q is V0 at temperature T1. Then in the same way, in the same way, let the area of this Q, let the area of each phase of a Q, let the area of each phase of a Q is denoted by A0. Even this particular area, A0 is the initial area of a Q at temperature T1, T1. In the same way, let me consider that the length of each side of a cube is being given by L0. L0 is the initial length of a cube, cube at temperature T1. If this is, these are the three different parameters like length, area, and volume at temperature T1, then the length will be V0, sorry L0, area will be A0, and V0 will be the volume, initial volume. In the same case, now if I try to subject this particular cube to some temperature T2 which is greater than T1, then definitely its length is going to vary, its area is going to vary and also its volume is going to vary. Let that changed length, changed area, changed volume be denoted by LT, LT, AT and VT. Let this be the parameters of a particular cube at temperature T2 and how this T1 and T2 are related T1 is great T2 is greater than T1 it means that now if the change in temperature between these two will be given as T2 minus T1 this is the difference between these two temperatures that is a change in temperature so if this is our conditions or uh, conclusions or this is our assumptions for this particular cube let us start the derivation for this alpha, beta and gamma. Let us see how they are related.
let me consider let me consider l not a not and v not are the three parameters at temperature t1 then lt at and vt are the other three parameters after the particular cube is subjected to another temperature t2 which is greater than t1 then if this is the case then let a not be the area of each face of a cube which is related as a not equal to l not square a not equal to l not square this is the area of each face of a cube before heating that particular substance or cube in the same way let v not equal to l not cube which is a volume initial volume of a cube before heating a substance now if the particular substance has been heated the particular substance has been heated to another temperature tt or uh, t2 then its area is going to change at is equal to lt square and vt is equal to lt cube and this is after heating after heating at temperature t2 and let this one be equation number 1 it is equation 2 equation 3 and equation 4 so these are the four different types of parameters which you have concluded with respect to temperature this before heating and after heating if this is a case has for the linear expansion we have studied that the uh, derivation of the formula for linear ex expansion is been given as lt equal to l not times 1 plus alpha delta t 1 plus alpha delta t let it be my equation number 5 let it be my equation number 5 then uh, with respect to equation 1 i can do the squaring on both side of the equation 5 if i do the squaring on equation 5 then i'll be getting it as i'll get a new equation has squaring on both sides of equation 5 if i do that one then it becomes lt square equal to l not square 1 plus alpha delta t whole square 1 plus alpha delta t whole square you can see this one this one is an a plus b formula it is in the terms of a plus b formula then if i apply that formula this equation can be written as l lt square equal to l not square 1 square plus 2 a b plus alpha over alpha delta t that's a b square so see now this equation can also be written as lt square equal to l not square 1 plus 2 alpha delta t plus l alpha square delta t square we know that the value of alpha the value of alpha is very small if the value of alpha is very small then definitely the square of alpha also becomes much smaller compared to alpha we know that the value of alpha will be always in the terms of 10 to the power of minus 5 or 10 to the power of minus 6 if i do the squaring of minus 5 or minus 6 then it comes to 10 to the power of minus 10 or minus 12 minus 5 is bigger than minus 10 then definitely 10 to the power of minus 10 or minus 12 will become very small compared to 10 to the power of minus 5 or minus 6 so i can if that is the case i can easily neglect this term then since it is very small i this term is been neglected it is neglected if i neglect that term then the formula of this particular equation becomes as lt square equal to l not square 1 plus 2 alpha delta t 1 plus 2 alpha delta t let it be my equation number 6 what what is lt square lt square is equal to at square and l not square equal to a not square if i substitute the values of at and a not in equation 6 then equation 6 becomes as at is equal to a not 1 plus 2 alpha delta t let it be my another equation which is equation number 7 but we know that but we know that at is equal to a not 1 plus beta times of delta t beta times of delta t if this is a case then what is this one is equation number 
you can see here from equation 7 and 8, here A3 on LHS side, A3 and A3 is there, then A0, A0 is there. The only difference is that it is in case of beta and 2 alpha. So beta is equal to 2 alpha. We can write this equation from equation 7 and 8. We get, we can conclude that, we can conclude that, we can conclude that 7 and 8 from equation 7 and 8, we get beta is equal to 2 alpha. Let it be my equation number 8. This is my equation number 8. In the same way, we know that from equation 5, if I do the cubing on both sides of equation 5, then I'll come across another equation. From that, we know that from equation 5, cubing on cubing on both sides of equation 5. If I do the cubing on equation 5, then it would be Lp cube is equal to L0 cube 1 plus alpha delta t whole cube. And this particular term is in the form of A plus B whole cube. A plus B whole cube formula is equal to A cube plus 3A square B plus 3AB square plus B cube. So if I use the particular formula, then this equation becomes as L0 cube 1 cube plus 3A a square b plus 3a b square plus b cube b cube so you can see you know this alpha we have we just now we have seen that alpha is very small value then definitely alpha square and alpha cube also becomes very small compared to the pre uh, compared to the alpha then these two terms then these two terms can be easily neglected then these two terms alpha square and al alpha cube can be easily neglected as they are very small compared to alpha. If I neglect the particular two terms, then my equation becomes as if I neglect the two terms. If I neglect the two terms, then Lt cube equal to L naught 1 plus 1 plus will be left out only with this one 3 alpha delta t 3 alpha delta t let it be my equation number 9 let it be my equation number 9 if I put this one as equation number 9 we know that what is Lt Lt is nothing else but Vt and L naught is equal to uh, L naught is equal to there is a v naught l naught equal to v naught then i can write it as vt equal to v naught 1 plus 3 alpha delta t let it be my equation number 10 what is this this particular equation is similar to your cubical expansions equation we know that the equation for the cubical expansion is given as vt equal to v naught times 1 plus gamma delta t let it be my equation number 11. Then from equation number 10 and 11, we can write it as everything is same. It only differs in terms of these two terms. Then we can write it as from equation 11 and 10. Sorry, we can write it as from equation 10 and 11 as gamma equal to 3 alpha. Gamma equal to 3 alpha. Let it be my equation number B from equation A and B from equation A and B A is equal to beta equal to 2 alpha B is equation uh, B is equal to gamma equal to 3 alpha then from this two equation we can write the relationship between alpha beta gamma equal to 1 is to 2 is to 3 this is the relationship between alpha is to beta is to gamma I hope students you have understood the relationship between alpha beta and gamma and how they are related so now the relationship between alpha is to beta is to gamma is 1 is to 2 is to 3. So thank you everyone for listening to this class. Kindly subscribe, like and share my videos for more further interesting topics. Hope you all do good in the near future. Thank you.